And I'm going to get started by talking about the product that has changed all of our lives. And that, of course, is iPhone. Last year, we announced two new iPhones for the very first time. These iPhones helped iPhone become the top-selling smartphone in the world. But more importantly, iPhone is the most loved phone in the world with industry-leading customer satisfaction. And these iPhones, like the ones before it, have been recognized time and time again as the best phone in the world. The original iPhone set the bar for which the category would forever be defined. And for every iPhone that followed, we built on the vision of the original iPhone, but pushed further and enlarged what the iPhone could be. Today, we are launching the biggest advancement in the history of iPhone. And I couldn't be more excited and more proud to show it to you now. These are the new iPhones, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. They are without a doubt the best iPhones we've ever done. And I hope you'll agree they're the best phones you have ever seen. To tell you all about them, I'd like to invite Phil Schiller up to the stage. Phil? Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. I am honored to represent the whole team and to be the one to tell you about these incredible new iPhones. Their design is like nothing ever before, incredibly unique. From the glass front that curves around the side to meet seamlessly with the anodized aluminum back, complete with stainless steel Apple. It is truly the most beautiful phone you have ever seen. And from the start, the team has envisioned that the new iPhone 6 would come with two display sizes. But not any display would do. <laughs> These are our new generation Retina displays. We call them Retina HD. And they are by far the most beautiful displays ever built into a phone. They are new in every way. They're incredibly bright. Their colors are stunning. They're accurate, sRGB accurate. And across from the top to the bottom, the team has worked hard to make them the best we know how, from their ion strength and glass all the way down to new thinner backlights. They're packed with incredible innovations. I'll just give you one example. The LCD that displays all your beautiful colored photos is made with a technology called dual domain pixels. And these pixels allow it to have a very broad angle of view with accurate colors. They are simply 
stunning, unlike any displays ever on a phone. And yes, they're bigger. They're a lot bigger. Here on the left is an iPhone 5S. In the center, iPhone 6. And on the right, the iPhone 6 Plus. I think you can see the difference. And if you don't know, here's their sizes. 4.7 inch for iPhone 6, 5.5 inches for iPhone 6 Plus. And boy, are they packed with pixels. The iPhone 6, 1334 by 750. That's more than a 720 HD display. And the iPhone 6 Plus, 1920 by 1080, full 1080 display with an even higher density. What's remarkable is these displays packed with so many pixels. The new iPhone 6, I'm sure some of you have already done the math, has over 1 million pixels in a phone. That's an incredible, incredible density. And the iPhone 6 Plus, over 2 million pixels. 2 megapixel display. These are larger. They have more than the 5S. In fact, the 6S, 38% more pixels. The 6 Plus, 185% more pixels than the 5S. So huge displays packed with pixels. But here's the real magic. The done in phones thinner than anything we have ever made. Yeah. iPhone 6, it's just 6.9 millimeters thin compared to 7.6 for the 5S. And the 6 plus 7.1, both thinner than any phones we've ever made. That took an incredible amount of engineering. So stunning displays, larger, more pixels, but thinner than ever before. And they are incredible at imaging all your content. The contrast is higher. The blacks are darker. The angle of view is broader. Your photos look gorgeous, and there's more to see on each of them. The text is incredible, too, even sharper and more of it. You can see here in the Messages app, the iPhone 6 displays more than before, and the 6 Plus displays more and has extra room there, so we put your friends' faces right there, front and center. And when you turn them in landscape, we show more as well. And we took special advantage of the iPhone 6 Plus because of all those pixels to do some new things with our apps. So for example, the Messages app now has a new horizontal two-up display. Your weather shows more of your day. Stocks, for those of you who follow stocks, you get a great horizontal view now with two-up. Mail has two-up so you can see your inbox and your messages. And when you bring up the keyboard in any of your apps with the iPhone 6 Plus, that keyboard takes advantage of the display area to give you some more keys. For example, dedicated keys for cut, copy, and paste. There's even a new horizontal home screen view, if you like to work this way, with your dock along the right-hand side. So we do everything to take great example, uh, advantage of these huge displays and make them more capable. Now, one of the things the team's worked on is to help you not only feel great in your hands with these phones, but make it easier to use, one-handed. With iOS 7 last year, we introduced a new gesture, a side swipe gesture, thinking ahead to these phones and knowing that you'd want to use them here, and with the curved display that would feel really nice to slide from left to right. So for example, if you're in Safari, looking at a website, you can move backwards and forwards by just swiping from the side of the display on one side and swipe back from the other side of the display. That makes so much sense in a larger display where you want to use it one-handed. This works in mail, in messages, and more. We've also added a brand new gesture specifically for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It's called reachability. What's reachability? Well, if you double touch, not even press, just double touch the Touch ID button, this is what happens. The whole display slides down so you can reach anything at the top without having to take your hand off the bottom of the display. It's so convenient and intuitive. It would be really like to use it. And once you tap something, it slides right back up again. The team even took the sleep wake button from the top and moved it to the right hand side. So that's easy to press as well, all one handed. So the team has done a great job building beautiful displays with a lot of pixels, making it a thinner iPhone than ever before, making it easier to use one handed. So what about all that great software you already have? We all love our apps. And I'm really proud to tell you the App Store now has over 1.3 million applications. 
Yes. And all those apps are built with Xcode, and the team at Apple has made sure that Xcode takes advantage of these new displays with automatic layouts, easier than ever to make your software scale across them. But what about all those apps that haven't been updated yet, don't know anything about these displays? Well, here's what happens. They just work. So we have an iPhone 5S on the left, 6 in the middle, and again, 6 Plus on the right. This is the CNN app before it has been updated to take advantage of these displays. Built into iOS is now a desktop class scaler, technology that makes this software look beautiful on different size displays. displays. And so the text is sharp, the colors are beautiful, it all just works. And if a developer wants to take advantage of these big displays, as we have with our apps, and do special work, as CNN is doing, you can create even more incredible apps with more density of content. CNN's doing that for the 6 and the 6 Plus in their app, and they're creating a new horizontal view as well with two panels to take advantage of these large displays. So developers, all their apps can work, and they can do some exciting new things with them too. So those are the new Retina HD displays in the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. That alone makes these phones amazing, but that doesn't come close to telling the story of why these are the best phones ever made. So what else? Next, the chip inside. A new generation chip, the Apple A8. This is a 64-bit chip, our second generation. It has two billion transistors. The A7 had one billion, so it's a lot more. <laughs> it's built with a new 20 nanometer process. Why, why does that matter? Well, it lets us make two billion transistors in a chip that's 13% smaller than the A7. And it delivers great performance, up to 25% faster CPU performance, up to 50% faster graphics performance. And if you look at what's happened over the years, our team has done a great job of driving that performance each year. Now, the iPhone 6 with the A8 chip is up to 50 times faster than the original iPhone at CPU tasks. And at graphics tasks, up to 84 times faster. So incredible performance. But the team had an extra goal with the A8, to deliver that performance in a way that's incredibly energy efficient. It's 50% more efficient than the A7 chip. And that allows us to sustain performance over a longer period of time. Why does that matter? Well, here's what happens with other smartphones. They can hit a speed number in the beginning, but very quickly they need to throttle down the performance so their device doesn't overheat. But with the A8 chip, the team has been able to drive performance over a longer sustained period of time, deliver great performance while you're doing things that take a while, like playing a killer game. This is really, really important. Combine that with some of the new technology we've been launching, you can do amazing things. Just this summer, we launched Metal, Metal is a new graphics library for our developers so they can create killer 3D apps and games. Traditionally, 3D apps and games are made with OpenGL, a great open standard graphics library, but it comes with a performance penalty, a lot of overhead. With Metal, you can have a thinner layer. Developers can write close to the metal of the chip and get maximum performance, and everyone's doing that. Here's a list of some of the developers that are already planning to bring out games using Metal on our chips this year. You're going to see incredible performance. We've given some of them access to the AA chip to let them get started working on taking advantage of this incredible level of performance and see what they can do with it. We thought we'd bring one of them out today so you can see some of the cool stuff they're working on. And we had to pick the developer with the coolest name you have ever seen, Super Evil Megacorp. <laughs> That alone is a reason to bring them on the stage. So I'm very happy to introduce Stephen, uh, Stefan Sherman, co-founder and chief creative officer of Super Evil Megacorp. Stefan, yeah. welcome. Good morning. Today, I am thrilled to debut for you Vainglory, the multiplayer battle arena perfected for touch. With me is my co-founder, Tommy, who will be playing Petal, 
an unlikely warrior, small of size, but big of courage. In Vainglory, players play a unique hero with unique skills and abilities. For example, Petal here can plant seeds that she can sprout into little munions. Oh, uh, and they also like to disco. <laughs> Petal looks right at home, but there is real danger brewing nearby. Let's take a look at the world of Vainglory now, running in real time on Metal. Multiplayer battle arena gaming is the most popular game genre in the world, enjoyed by tens of millions of players every day. Vainglory brings this world-class competitive gaming to iOS. Now the rules are simple. Two teams battle to destroy a giant crystal in the heart of their opponent's base. Think of it like capture the flag, but with crystals. We fused our evil game engine with metal and absolutely loved the results on the new iPhone 6. A world of 1.3 million polygons running at 60 frames per second. New environment effects like dust particles and butterflies. New lighting effects like these crystals casting blue light. And more than 100 fully animated characters all interacting at once. And in the heart of it all lurks the powerful Kraken. This is a massive monster that, if captured by your team, will fight on your side to help you destroy the enemy crystal. And I think that's exactly what Tommy has in mind. Uh-oh, looks like Tommy's opponents have the same idea. Now it's a fight for the Kraken. Great work. Now that the Kraken has been captured, time to push to the enemy base and destroy their crystal. We founded Super Evil Megacorp to bring the hardcore gaming experiences of PCs and consoles to the mobile generation. This is why we are so thrilled about the performance now possible on the iPhone 6 and Metal. Vainglory is our first game, and we can't wait for you to try it. You won. Good game, Tommy. Join us when Vainglory launches in the App Store this fall. Thank you. <laughs> I love it when they fist bump and walk off stage after nailing the Kraken. That's not bad for their very first game. Uh, it shows what's possible. It's, sometimes it's tough to remember when we're sitting here watching on a 35-foot screen just how incredible that is coming from a phone that you carry around with you everywhere you go. It is killer gaming. So larger display, thinner design, incredible performance. Obviously, uh, that impacts battery life. Well, I'm really happy to tell you the team has worked hard to make the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus have equal or better battery life in every metric than the iPhone 5S. Just look at some of these numbers. iPhone 6, 50 hours of audio playback, 11 hours of video watching, 11 hours Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours LTE and 3G browsing. The iPhone 6 Plus, 80 hours of music listening, 14 hours of HD video playback, 12 hours Wi-Fi browsing, LTE browsing, 3G browsing, really great battery life. Along with the A8, there's our motion coprocessor, a new generation. M8. And as you know, this motion coprocessor works along with offloading the work from your processor with all those great sensors in your phone, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the compass. And this is really helpful for things like fitness applications to track data and provide it back to you. Well, the new generation M8 can tell when you're cycling and you're walking, you're running. It also has a new ability to estimate distance. So for example, you can go for a run. It can tell how many steps you're running, but also how far you've gone, and for the first time, give you credit for elevation as well, flights of stairs. Yep. We all need to run more stairs. How does it do it? Well, there's a new sensor built into iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, the barometer. It measures relative 
elevation from air pressure. And that will show up in things like the new health app in iOS 8, where you now get credit for flights of stairs you walk throughout your day. And developers can take advantage of this new sensor as well. For example, Nike is working on a new version of the Nike Plus running app, so it can track not only how far you run, but also the elevation as well. So great new AA chip, great new MA chip, the core of iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And there is so much more. There's new advanced wireless capabilities. The LTE in iPhone 6 and 6 Plus is faster than ever, 150 megabit per second. That's compared to 100 in the previous products. It does that with a technology called carrier aggregation. And there's now 20 LTE bands compared to 13 previously. That's the most in any smartphone in the world. It means we're working now with over 200 carriers around the world to support LTE on iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. And there's a new technology with LTE. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called Volti. That stands for voice over LTE. It means we can take the voice data of making a phone call off of the 3G network and move it up onto the 4G LTE network. It makes calls clearer sounding, and you always have simultaneous voice and data. We're working with a lot of carriers around the world who are going to roll out support for Volti with iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. There's also faster Wi-Fi in both of the products as well, 802.11ac, which is up to three times faster than 802.11n, up to 433 megabit per second. Now, if you combine Wi-Fi and Volti, our engineers came up with a really cool idea, making calls over Wi-Fi using your standard cellular connection. So maybe at your office or your home, you don't have a great cellular reception, but you do have Wi-Fi. You can make a standard call in the same way, and it will go out over Wi-Fi, but as you leave your home and transition onto the cellular network, the call will seamlessly just hand off and keep going. This is really cool technology. This is just the start of it. The first carriers working together with us on it are T-Mobile in the US and EE in the UK, and you'll see more quickly over time. So great wireless capabilities. Perhaps many people's favorite feature of their iPhone is their camera. And there are great new cameras in both iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And people love taking photos with their iPhone for good reason. Here's an example. National Geographic photographer Jim Richardson took this photo in the Scottish Highlands with an iPhone. I mean, it's a beautiful photo. He's taken many more. And he and all of us will take even better photos with the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus because there's an all-new iSight camera in it. It's an 8-megapixel iSight camera. It has Apple's innovative True Tone Flash. It has large 1.5 micron pixels has a fast 2.2 aperture, but most importantly, has a new generation eyesight sensor in it to take better photos. It's packed with some cool technologies. Let me just tell you one. It's called Focus Pixels. What are those? Let's look inside at the sensor inside the eyesight camera. And you'll see these dedicated pairs of focus pixels. And what they do, they have little shutters on them, they read the light coming in from objects, and as the lens moves in and out, it can tell whether that object is in phase or out of phase. This is called phase detection autofocus. It's a technology used by high-end DSLRs. It's the best way to do fast autofocus. And now the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus have it, and they can focus almost twice as fast as the previous generation. And there's so many more things a sensor can do to take beautiful photos. It has great new generation tone mapping. It has beautiful noise reduction. It all adds up to incredible photos. So let me show you a couple taken right with an iPhone 6, straight off the camera, no retouching. People love taking portrait photos with their iPhone. And this is a great one. The exposure is beautiful. The skin tone is really lovely. It's a great photo. Here's another portrait. He's smiling, if you can't tell. The skin tones are perfect. You have to trust me on that. <laughs> People also love taking macro photos. There's a beautiful one of a California monarch butterfly. Anyone know? That's a female, if you couldn't tell. And even landscapes with the wide-angle lens are just beautiful, particularly with the noise reduction for bluer skies without sacrificing sharpness. And everyone loves now taking panoramas with their iPhone as well. And you take even bigger ones with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. 
up to 43 megapixel photos. And with a new generation gyroscope, the stitching is near seamless. Now what makes your photos great are three things. It's the five element lens, it's the imaging sensor, and it's also the brains behind it all, the image signal processor that's part of the Apple A8 chip and is a whole new generation signal processor inside iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. For example, it has a dedicated hardware block now to do advanced face detection. So you're taking a photo, you can even quicker find faces throughout your scene to get the perfect focus. And it has advanced blink and smile detection. So when you take a burst photo, you can very quickly find the perfect one and present it to you. Now everything I've been telling you is true across both cameras, iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. There's one feature different between the two of them, and it's about image stabilization. The iPhone 6 has digital image stabilization, so it can try to help compensate if your hand's not holding the iPhone steady and try to help you keep from your photo being blurry. But 6 Plus adds something new with the iPhone line, optical image stabilization. So what's that? Let's look at the lens inside the iPhone 6 Plus. Of course, it moves front to back to focus, as always, but now it can also move up and down and side to side. And we combine that with the M8 and with the new gyroscope to automatically adjust and stabilize your image when you're taking a photo. And this works really great, particularly in low light scenarios, we have to take a longer exposure like this. This is taken in the evening, and it's a very sharp photo because of optical image stabilization. So we love the EyeSight cameras in our phones, and they take beautiful photos. So it's no surprise we don't see a lot of these anymore. Right? Dedicated cameras, small point and shoot cameras, they're certainly not as fun, and increasingly we're taking amazing photos directly off of our iPhones. What's interesting is it's probably been a while since you've seen one of these as well. Anyone remember what they're called? <laughs> camcorder. Yeah, camcorder. I think our parents used to use these. Right? People aren't using them anymore. In fact, I believe now that the iPhone has become the world's most popular video camera as well. It takes a beautiful HD videos at 1080p. With iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, we've advanced its video capabilities so much, you're just going to be blown away with the kinds of videos you can take. 1080p. Of course, we can take 30 frames a second, but now it's 60 frames a second as well for really beautiful, smooth videos. And everyone has loved what we introduced last year with slow-mo, videos up to 120 frames a second. Well, now the 6 and the 6 Plus can take video up to 240 frames a second. Yes. So we can take videos like this. I was going to say I taught him that, but you wouldn't believe me. Here's another great feature, cinematic video stabilization. This is a really great video of a gentleman riding on a mountain bike. What you can't see is the person taking it is holding an iPhone also riding on a bike, and the, stable, the video is automatically being stabilized. It's really great. With iOS 8, we introduced time-lapse video. So now with a single press of the shutter, with iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, you can take images of this quality with time-lapse photography. Now, the new EyeSight sensor has focus pixels, which really helped a lot with getting fast autofocus on photography. Turns out they help a lot with video, too. With focus pixels, we can do automatic focus continuously while you're shooting your video, like this. So you take the video. The flowers go into focus, you pull She's back, by herself. and the young girl goes in focus, all without having to touch the screen and tell it where to focus, it automatically continually focuses the video. So incredible capabilities for photography and video. That's the EyeSight camera. As you know, on the other side of your, your iPhone, you have another camera, the FaceTime HD camera. And there's an all new version of that as well. It is a brand new sensor, a larger aperture that lets in over 80% more light. And with the ISP, it has improved face detection because it's perfect for taking those killer selfies. 
And kids are going to love this. We now have burst mode on the FaceTime camera as well. You know they're going to do that. <laughs> now this new sensor, this FaceTime HD sensor, does something really cool for photography. It does single shot HDR. So with one picture, not multiple pictures, it gets great exposure for the foreground and the background. We're also now able to do HDR in your videos as well from the FaceTime camera. So amazing cameras, both the front side and the back side, FaceTime camera and iSight camera. Both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus will come with an iOS 8, the latest version of the world's most advanced mobile operating system. And there are so many great features. I just want to point out a few of them that are really wonderful on the new iPhones. First, the new Messages application. You can share your location with friends. You can now share audio messages along with your photos and your videos. And there's a new controller on the bottom right-hand side there that you control with your thumb. So it's really easy to do one-handed. There's a new keyboard with QuickType. It suggests words based on the content of what you're typing. And again, easy to reach one-handed. There's a new health application in iOS 8 that works together with that motion coprocessor and all those sensors to help us all stay fit throughout the day. And there's tons of extensibility throughout iOS 8. For example, here, notifications where LinkedIn and my favorite airline are all connected and right there in front of my notifications. And perhaps the most innovative feature of all an iPhone, Touch ID, not only lets you unlock your phone and make payments in iTunes, but you can also now use it with third-party applications. So that's going to be really cool. That's iOS 8. These are the best phones ever made, iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, packed with features from everything from those amazing displays to the super fast 64-bit AA chip and on and on. They are the best we know how to make and I think the best anyone's seen. And the team works so hard to make these in the most environmentally friendly way. So we always like to call attention to this because it matters a lot. Not only do you see all the things you're used to seeing here, there's a new one as well, beryllium free, which we commit to do. So the team, the team makes these just, just in a wonderful fashion. There are new cases for both phones. There are new silicon cases, six colors with a great feel, including product red, and new leather cases, five beautiful dyes, including product red there as well. iPhone 6 comes in these three beautiful colors, gold, silver, and space gray. I think by now you're all wondering, yeah, but how much does it cost? Well, I'm really happy to tell you it starts at just $199. Yeah. That's on a typical two-year carrier contract with 16 gigabytes. And now at $299, we've increased the capacity to 64 gigs. And $399, a all-new configuration, 128 gigabytes. iPhone 6 Plus also comes in gold, silver, and space gray. And it starts at just $299. Yeah, really, you heard a while. You're right. For 16 gigs, $399 for 64, and $499 at that new 128 gigabyte configuration. These are not only the best phones in the world, they really are a great value as well. And they complete our lineup. iPhone 5S, yesterday, the most advanced smartphone in the world, is now starting at just $99. The iPhone 5C in an 8 gig configuration, typical two-year carrier contract offered for free. Next question, so when can we get them? We're going to start to ship them on September 19th. That will be in the US and eight other countries. In those countries, you'll be able to pre-order them starting this Friday on the 12th. And the team is working hard to make this the fastest rollout ever for iPhone. So we're going to try to be in 115 countries by the end of this year. Of course, there's also the new iOS 8 that we're seeing up here and, and all lusting over. It is amazing. The team works hard, as always, to make it available to the widest number of customers possible. So here you see the list of all the devices that are supported with iOS 8, huge number of devices. 
All these customers will be able to download for free iOS 8 on September 17th. Yes. So that is the new five iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Thank you. So hopefully you can get an idea of just how amazing the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 really are, how they're the best phones you've ever seen. But a great product isn't just a collection of features. It's how it all works together, how it makes you feel. These products are, have bigger screens, and they're amazing but they're much better in every single way. And to make this point clear, we've enlisted the help of a couple of our friends to do some fun new ads. And I'd love to share one of those with you right now. Dun, dun, dun. What do you think? Did you like them? Do you know who they are? Does anybody know who they are? Justin Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> These guys are incredibly fun to work with. Let's, do you want to see another one? Here, here's another one. This is the iPhone 6. And this is the iPhone 6 Plus. They come with a thing called health, so they can help you track a lot of stuff. Like today, I walked 3.8 miles. Well, I ran 4.2 miles. <laughs> well, I climbed 11 flights of stairs. <laughs> well, I drank a smoothie that had 362 calories in it. Well, I had a funnel cake that had 1,230 calories in it. You know, that's not good, right? It was good. It was delicious. Thank you. So that...